Good afternoon. Welcome to VBrown Back Tech Talk. My name is Anthony Chow. I am a software developer. Uh, I'm also on Twitter. Look, do look me up. I'm on, uh, I'm on on it a lot of time because I learn a lot of things on Twitter. Uh, this July, I have the very special opportunity to participate in the Virtual Design Master Challenge. Today, I'm hoping that I can give you a for uh, maybe a what is going on with this virtual design master. So what is the virtual design master challenge? You can look it up from this URL. This will give you a better understanding of what is going on, what's pretty much how things are going and who are the participants. Basically, I, have, I should be able to cover it, most of the contents of this URL, but do take a look. But one thing I do encourage you is to go to Twitter and look up the hashtag Virtual Design Master. You'll be surprised what kind of content it has. This is the interaction between the host and the participants, as well as between the participants. And I would say, if you do not have time, don't look it up, because you will see tons of uh, contents from it. And uh, you, this is a very nice way to have a recap of what's going on. Have you ever watched um, Chop on the Food Channel or Cut Throat Kitchen? If you do, you will have a better understanding of how this Virtual Design Master Challenge works. Uh, the challenge, instead of making some delicious food, the challenge is a competition on who has the best technical design on virtualization and data center technology to solve a problem based on a fictitious scenario. And I have to stress it's based on a fictitious scenario, but we, we'll get back to that. There are four challenges. Uh, not all competitors can get to participate in all these on all four challenges because it is an elimination process. After we submit our design documents, and we have to defend the document on our design on Google Plus, the judges will decide who can move on to the next round. And each round will there are new requirements. So who's who's in season two? Yes, season two. This is the second year that Virtual Design Master was held. Uh, we have the host, the judges, and the sponsors. Be, except for the sponsor, the host and judges, I have listed them in alphabetical order according to the last name. And you see the, 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 we have 10 sponsors. And of course, the participants. You can see the, the faces, well, some of the faces, because some of the people who got, like me, is. Uh, chopped in the first round, but if, uh, in the URL I suggest earlier, you can look up on who the participants are. If you ask me how would I describe the Virtual Design Master, I will find these four words very well describe the whole process. Intense, creative, fun, and friendly. Intense, yes, this is a very intense challenge. Uh, because we are given a very short time to do our design. Um, we are given the challenge on Thursday night, and we have to deliver the, the design um, the following Tuesday. We don't have much time to do. Uh, we only have one weekend, and then that weekend, you have to really work on the design, and you don't have, do not, will not have much family life. And this, so something this is because of this time constraint, this, you, you don't see this at work at all. Yes, at work you have stress, but I don't think you, the, the, your boss would demand you to crank up a design in, in such a short time period. The challenge is very creative and difficult. Even though it's a fictitious scenario, but the design is very real. They test you in all levels of skill. And one more element about how intense it is, as you are given one minute to defend your challenge or your design. Well, you may say, yes, one minute is easy. It goes by so fast. And this is exactly the point. One minute, you, sometimes you cannot really defend yourself in one minute. And you have to really have to know your design and exact points to, that you have to present to the judge on, uh, oh, why do I do this or why do I do that? But even though it's an intense competition, it is also a very creative and fun. Well, of course, the host is very creative in designing the challenge. I, th I think there is a, among the hosts, there is a creative director, Melissa Palm Palmer. That it is very creative in setting up the test scenario for us. And why is it fun? Well, the creativeness is also about 
uh, for the participants too, because I pick up these two pictures in, on my slide. Um, these are from Twitter. This is from the participants. Yes, we are busy making our design, and yet we are communicating each other. We use these pictures to express our feeling. If you look at the picture uh, on Sambi on the left, you will see, oh, okay, makes sense to be a Sambi is infection, radiation, and virus. But take a look. The guy is ho holding an OpenStack logo. He says, learning and deploying OpenStack in 24 hours. This is some creativeness and fun that we are experiencing during the contest. The second one on this is, is uh, astronaut. You might not be able to see the content, but roughly it says is if the design is correct, I will not be up here fixing this problem. So these are some, some of the example that I can draw. Or you will see more of this if you look up the hashtag virtual design master. Friendly, yes. When I sign up immediately, I get a very warm welcome from the host. Um, I get some direct contact with Eric Wright and for the other hosts, I don't have direct contact, but on Twitter, I, see, I can feel the warm welcome of me joining uh, and congratulating me to participate in this uh, design context. And then, after the competition, you might not be able to see it on the screen, but that's why I put the picture up. The t-shirt I'm, uh, I'm wearing is from a design, virtual design master. One of the participants, Sean Massey, he used his own money to make this shirt for all the judges, for all the participants, and uh, as well as to, for all the hosts. That's why I specifically wear this today to make this presentation about Virtual Design Master. And now I have to explicitly say thank you, San. You are really doing a good job for the community because it means af even after the competition, the community is still there. It is not just, oh, after the competition, everyone is gone and no contact. Um, we are still con we have communication with one another, we have uh, technical discussion or we talk about non-technical things on Twitter also. Well, this is because of geographic location of all the participants, we cannot really, but you, from, from other VMUG, I see participants, they are getting together to talk about this virtual design master. So this is one thing that I can use to describe the, 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 the competition. Well. Fictitious scenario, some zoom, a zombie attack. Well, you might think, am I reading the sci-fi channel zombie? How can this relate it to a design? Um, well, the scenario is not real, but the design is very real. It tests you from the level of uh, as low as the virtual, uh, the hypervisor storage network, the cloud, and even up to the application level and even some of the DevOps uh, concept that we need to know f in order for us to compete in this design. So even though the scenario might not be so real, because I think the host deliberately make it fun, uh, or make it creative to make it fun so people will, will, will be working on this with more fun instead of just, oh, you have this, you have that, uh, what we, can, we can always see that in a work environment, but this is also very nice to have. Well, I, this is to show you some of the challenges. This is the first challenge, is to design and orchestrate. This is, for us, basically, uh, there is a zombie attack, and the human race is, um, is, uh, is, we have to move out to a different planet. So the job is to create a manufacturing system to, to make the space shuttle so that the human race can move to a different planet to, to live on. So this is one of, and, and this is for the design. The second challenge, adapt and constraint. Ah, you'd be surprised. Okay, for the first challenge, everyone is doing their best to have best design. Now in challenge two, what it, what it is is we have to pick up someone else's design and then you have to, cannot change it too much and then build on top of that and work on it. So this is some, some kind of a challenge. The third one is that we have to use OpenStack. Not only will you have to use OpenStack on your design, you have to actually record how it works. So uh, you'll be, um, under the gun to learn OpenStack in, in a short period of time. Not only that, you have to make a video to make, to make sure it, to show it works. And then on the fourth challenge, it's the last challenge. I did not participate in the Google Plus on this one because I have a local VMUG meeting to go. But this is basically more than just showing. This is 
uh, the final competitors, com competitors will have to go on to a cloud system to make uh, changes to, 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 to the design and, and make it work. Now I think you have a better, uh, have a rough understanding of how it works. Let me switch, switch gear and tell, tell, me, tell you about some of my experience. Why, why I sign up? I am a software developer. Basically, I, I write software. I do some design, but the design is limited to the software or the system I work on. I never do system, uh, a data center level system design. But one day I, I, on Twitter, I come across a blog by Melissa Palmer. It said, top 10 reasons to keep in virtual design master. Well, the title got my attention, so I click on the link. They list the 10 reasons. I have it here on the screen. Can you guess which one got me to, to, to sign up? Actually, it's the practice makes perfect because I'm working on my VC APDCD. And it says if you're working on that, you, this is a good reason for you to, to participate. Another one is to did a good challenge. Not exactly a good challenge, but for me, it is stepping out of my comfort zone. I have been working on my current job for 20 years. Uh, usually, when a problem report comes, I will already know where the problem is and solve the problem. But I never do a system level design. I want to challenge myself. And then when I sign up, I have, I don't know, I know I cannot go far. I just want to see how far I can go. And I have no idea what I'm walking, walking into. So I entered the competition. And one day on one of the Thursday night, we met on Google Plus and we're giving, given the, the challenge. With that, I followed the VMware design methodology where I used the scenario to look up the requirement, the functional, non-functional requirements, the constraint, the risk, and the assumptions. That I feel very comfortable because at work I have been doing that for software anyway. Then move on to the logical design. I still have fun and I also treat that I can do that all day. I, like, I think I like to be a system designer more than a software developer. But anyway, this is, our, uh, this is not beyond the, the talk of this today. But then when I move to the physical design, I find problem. I do not have enough knowledge about the physical, the, the Cisco switches, um, the exact storage uh, vendors, all these details that I know and I get stuck. But strangely, when I tweet about this, I get support from the community to encourage me to go on, say, don't give up, do your best. I was surprised that I would have this kind of support in this community. Okay, Judgment Day. This is where you have to meet the judge. This is a term used by Virtual Design Master. We were given one minute to describe the design. I was totally off guard because I didn't, I off, before I do not know I have to give a one minute um, defense of my design. But anyway, I quickly put something up and then I was able to, to finish and give the description of my design because I based on it, it involved with human race. So security and continu continuity is very important. And that, uh, that, that even on a judgment day, we have to judge will ask you the question. This is very important because this, this is um, similar to the VX, VC, VCDX design. It is not just, okay, you make this design and ask people to implement this. You have to exactly know why you make this design decision. Do you use a UCS B series or do you use the UCS a newly developed M series? Why do you make this decision? Is it uh, because you like it or because this one that, uh, has this feature that will help you to, f uh, to satisfy certain requirement? So this design is very, it's, uh, it's important for preparation for the VCDX design. Okay, what, what did I get? Um, I was chopped on the first challenge, but I get a lot of prizes. Well, each participant will get a subscription to ipspace.net, which is a val val very valuable uh, resource. But then, what are some of the things I win too? I win a community. Remember when I get stuck, I get support and encouragement. And this shirt is also a sign of the community. Um, I am in the process of finding my destination in the cloud. Um, I, I don't want to be doing it by myself. I don't want to fight the battle alone. 
with this community, I find that I can have support with my fellow, fellow friends in, in the technology area. And also, I gain valuable design experience. I've never done a thermal design before, and I know what, but where my weakness, weaknesses is. So I can work on that now. And the last one is I become an active blocker. With this special, unique, and uh, happy experience for in, in Virtual Design Master, I decided to write something. I started a blog in 2012, but it was dormant. I never put in anything. But then, with that, I started blogging uh, about my experience with Virtual Design Master. Late, and the second post is uh, my experience with an, another VMUG presentation. After that, currently, I have changed this blog into a technical blog. Because of my ex background experience with networking, I'm currently blocking on VXLAN as well as NXX because this is something I'm interested to look at. Okay, this is my experience. Oh, before that, before I move on, do take a look at my blog. Uh, uh, you might find something interesting. This is now for you. Are you interested to sign up for season three in 2015? I do encourage you to, to sign up because you can see from the slide, you will definitely win something. And everyone is a winner. Well, not even the participants. Even if you are audience and you are on Twitter, you can, there is a prize for them too in 2014. I don't know about, I'm not the host, I cannot guarantee to 2015. But like I said, do participate. Uh, even though it might be something out of your comfort zone, but I like this picture so much. If you want something in your life you have never had, you will have to do something. So I encourage you to participate in season three of Virtual Design Master and you will be the winner. Thank you.